Hey, this is Side and Coach of the Sydney Six, bringing you the week. Oh, well, the playoffs of the YCL. Um, our first, our, our opponent for, our, for the playoff, our round one playoff, is the Cerulean City Mewtwo's. Um, and their coach, Luke Harry. Uh, we face them uh, round one of the. Um, of the YCL, so, um, which seems to be a trend for me. So season one, I did the same thing versus my week one match. Uh, it didn't too go so well. Um, I did lose that uh, in playoffs round one. Hopefully, I get past uh, playoffs round one again. Worst case scenario, I'll probably end up back where I was. So, um, yeah. Uh, before we get into to the match, before we get into my team builder and my opponent's team, I, I do want to, as always, I want to urge you to uh, check out my opponent's uh, channel and his side of the battle. I'll leave a link to both in the description below. Uh, with that said, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, and also, you know, if you just want to see the battle, just uh, there's timestamps in the description. Um, and also, it's probably this chapter's in the timeline as well. So, uh, with that said, let's get on with uh, uh, what my opponent has. So, here is my opponent's full roster. Um, and uh, as you can see, there's, uh, there's a bit of change from that week one. Um, I know he had Hippowdon instead of uh, Sandaconda. And he didn't have Milotic, but I can't for life of me remember what it was before. Um, Loras, I think those are the only two changes. I'm not sure if Golbat was there to begin with, but um, regardless, I don't think Golbat will come. Um, uh, I don't think it threatens much of my team. Um, well, actually, it probably could threaten uh, Abu Lele, maybe, but Tabulela is probably more of a threat to Golbat than it to Tabulela. Uh, uh, last time, he bought uh, Dracovish, uh, Whimsicott, uh, Mew, Miltank, a Dotler, and a Molga. And um, given my team, I haven't changed my team that much. Yes, I did have, uh, I did change it mid-season, but uh, I think more or less, uh, probably the same would come uh, I, I don't see the reason he won't bring the same, except maybe that um, I think Milotic is a Pokemon he, he prefers to use, so uh, if I was to say he would drop a Pokemon, I would say he'd probably drop either Whimsicott or Emolga for, 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 for Milotic, but otherwise I see him bring the same thing. Um, his Mew set was a very interesting one. Uh, it was actually really good um, in week one, but I don't think he will use the same one, uh, the same Mew set in, for this week for our, well, our match this time. Uh, it was very one-dimensional. Um, honestly, if he does use the same set, that uh, he could just use the same set just to piss me off. <laughs> but, um, um, that, yeah, no, I, I'd find it just really disrespectful if he, he, he just uh, used the same new set. Um, thinking that I'd probably fall for it for the same time. For, uh, fall for it again, but... Um, yeah, it, it's... Yeah, that, that is not... Uh, <laughs> but I, I don't think he will. I, I think... Uh, uh, I think he would probably go for more offensive set, but... Uh, yeah. So, um, with that said, uh, let's go on to what I'm going to bring. So the first one I'm going to bring is Tapu Lele. Uh, this is more or less the same uh, set I bought last time. So I think I replace... Um, I think it's the same set. Uh, yeah, uh, I think it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, there's not much to say. This should outspeed his whole team uh, with the with the choice scarf. Uh, and if I do lose the choice scarf for some reason, at least I should outspeed. The most important thing to outspeed is Dracovish. So 
uh, I should outspeed that, but I think I do outspeed um, uh, some of these other, like, faster Pokemons. Uh, not necessarily like Kling Clang, I think. Uh, Space 90 and Golbat. So, um, that said, there's not much to say. Uh, hopefully, Tapu Lele can clean up. Uh, he didn't get the opportunity to do so last time, but hopefully he can this time. Um, for my second Pokemon, I'm going to go with Celebi. This is nearly the same set as last time as well, except I'm replacing Nasty Plot with Giga Drain. Um, I, I really need Giga Drain this time around, especially with my Lodic on the team. I can't afford to not have Giga Drain, but then I can't afford to drop Psychic or Shadow Ball, so I am going to kind of go for a more consistent damage with Celebi as opposed to that burst damage that that plot would provide. Uh, otherwise, I think the, the EVs are about the same. Uh, 216 plus speed should outspeed uh, his base 95 Pokemon, which is, I believe, um, uh, Arcanine. Is it? Um, or Arcanine. Uh, yeah. 252 special attack, 40 HP. Uh, it's probably my best uh, switch into his Mill Tank as well, since uh, last time Mill Tank was more a status, trying to spread status through Thunder Wave. I, I imagine, I can't see why that plan would not work at the same time. Uh, well, I would replicate, sorry, that plan. So, uh, with that said, that's probably my best switch into Mill Tank. Uh, for my third Pokemon, I'm going with uh, Noivern. Uh, this time around, I do have Defog on Noivern. <laughs> uh, uh, I do suspect him to try to use uh, his Doppler and... Um, uh, what do you call it? Set up Sticky Webs. Um, and which will be really detrimental to my team. So I, I am going for... Uh, default this time. I also have U-turn, uh, so to pivot. A Hurricane and Draco Meteor is just two stabs, and and you know with Hurricane should to hit KO his Doppler, um, and if I could get a default in the Hurricane's less likely to miss, so uh, there's a bonus there. Um, 200 plus speed should outspeed his whole team, uh, barring any scarfs. Uh, 252 special attack, maximum damage, 56 HP. Um, yeah, that's just for bulk, really. Uh, he does have a uh, stealth rocker, so I tends to heavy duty boots. Um, but yeah, I think sticky webs is probably the more pressing issue for me. Uh, for my uh, fourth Pokemon, I'm going with Eat Ran uh, with the Lumberry. Um, yeah, so I have the, more or less the same kind of, uh, heat ran as last time, except it's more offensive. Uh, I initially had a three attack heat ran, but then I decided, um, I'll probably just use toxic and protect as opposed to, uh, the three attack, three attacks. Uh, I didn't really change the EVs just because, um, it, uh, even without EV investments, uh, there was no moves that were going from like two hit KOs to Oko's uh, in uh, uh, from his side of the the the, the team. So uh, it's no point putting in some defensive and special defensive uh, EVs because well, he needs two hit KOs or three hit KOs or whatever. Regardless of how many EVs I put in, so, um, yeah, uh, so I just I I decided, I decided to put like more into speed and special attack, so hopefully hit harder. Uh, two hundred and forty plus speed should outspeed his uh, um, jolly a jolly Dracovish. I don't know whether he will use a jolly Dracovish, but should outspeed it. Um, hopefully, if it does enough, uh. It's chipped down enough that uh, Magma Storm could do something. Not toxic. I can tox it before I faint. Uh, otherwise, it should just outspeed a lot of his uh, slower Pokemons. Um, 
and maybe even like a defensive Kling Lang or something could be caught by it. A defensive Mew uh, or a defensive Mill Tank. Um, yeah, so that's the that's kind of my uh, thought on the Heat Ramp. Uh, for my fifth Pokemon, I am going with uh, Vaporeon. Uh, Vaporeon is much, I think this is exactly the same, except instead of Protect, I have Heal Bell. Uh, this is kind of the set I've been using for most of the YCL, uh, and I see no reason to change it. Um, except I feel like I don't think I can use Flip Turn a lot, so, um, but I did hit Flip Turn win that first week match. Uh, again, I don't think he's going to use the same new set, uh, but even then, like, if I see Mew, I'm probably not going to risk it and get Vaporeon out. Uh, either through Flip Turn before he can use a Skill Swap or just Hard Switch before he can use Block. So that's basically it. Um, 252. Uh, otherwise, it's like the standard Vaporeon set. Uh, and it's nothing much to say here. Uh, for my uh, last Pokemon, it's going to be Sneasel. Um, with uh, the expert belt, uh, I thought about using a choice band, but I think I, I needed the option to switch moves uh, because I don't see what, uh, uh, an opportunity f to constantly get uh, Sneasel in. So I think I need Sneasel to come in and do as much damage as possible uh, before it has to be. Either forced out or just just sacked. Um, uh, with that said, 160 plus speed should outspeed uh, everything except Whimsicott. Um, I have the 252 attack. That's for you know maximum damage uh, uh, given the genre nature. Uh, 96 HP. I mean, gotta put 96 EV somewhere. Uh, and who knows that 96 HP might do something. Um, knock off Ice Crush Low Kick. I think that it's his team pretty well, uh, like for super effective or neutral damage. I have Ice Shot there just in case I need to do some priority damage. Um, I know that Psychic Terrain could be uh, up, but you know, it's just something I'm going to have to risk. Uh, and I have to try to just play around. You know, um, I think I could do about it. Um, yeah, hopefully I don't have to use Ice Shard, but well, that said, let's, that's not what I can do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's my, uh, that's my team. Um, yeah, hopefully this could uh, snag us a win. And uh, let's, uh, let's just get into the battle. Okay, it's the playoffs. YCL playoffs. <laughs> uh, hey, the the Aussie boys <laughs> taking on each other. Uh, okay, let's let's just see what my friend brings. Uh, I'm honestly uh not feeling the mood right now. <laughs> to, I low key probably feels like I I it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to just try my best and see how it goes. Um, yeah. Okay, so he bought pretty much what I expected. Uh, I really didn't expect anything else out of this team. Uh, I'm going to leave with Noivern. I think that's probably my best lead. Uh, you know, it immediately threatens Dotler. He wants to set up uh, sticky webs or something, or um, should outpace anything except. Uh, or should outpace everything except whatever choice scarfed Pokemon he has. So let's let's just hope. Um, yeah. Turns out well. <laughs> In terms of what I expect him to, to lead with, I'm gonna be honest, it's probably Mill Tank like he did last time. Um, 
Oh, he could lead with Dotler and try to get webs up early. Um, <sighs> Milotix probably one that he can lead with. Get the burn. I don't know. It can't be anything, to be honest. Um, good luck to my opponent. I didn't realize he changed his name to <laughs> DC YouTube GG. Uh, Yeah, no tank. So, I mean, unexpected, uh, to be honest. So I'm just going to U-turn straight out. Um, he employed a lot of like on the wave last time, so I think it's best to just U-turn out straight away, um, and then uh, just take take the thunder waves. Like, let Celebi take the Thunder Waves. <laughs> and, uh. Uh. From there, I can, uh. Use, uh. What do I need? Yeah, so Thunder Wave, as expected. Uh, yeah, obviously, I don't want to get hit by Thunder Waves with, uh. Oh, uh, Pokemon. Ah. Huh. Okay, something tells me he's not gonna stay in. Oh, I'm gonna Shadow Ball. Oh, no, nope, he stays in. Okay, I did not even expect that. I actually thought he was gonna switch. <laughs> Okay, uh, doesn't matter. I am okay with that. So, I mean, it's pretty dead. Uh, could switch. Uh, unless I full para, there's really no, um, no risk of anything too bad. Um, So, uh, I thought I'm just gonna kick sidekick there. I'll hit something. No. Go for Giga Drain now. Oh, we're going for another seismic toss. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm just going. I'm just going to heal, recover. Uh, yeah, that's what I expect from him. From that thing. Um. I'll just Giga Drain again. I mean, doing all these fixed damage is really not gonna really affect me too badly.
Uh... Because you can't crit. <laughs> you can't just crit. Uh... Or... Uh... The seismic tosses, so... <laughs> So I'm expecting another dump drink right now. Um, so I'm just gonna cover up here. I think he's just waiting for a full para or something. Um, fair enough. But uh, between milk drink, thunder waves, and seismic toss, I mean. I can't remember what Seismic Toss's PP is. <laughs> so, yeah. Go with Psychic. Now. Yeah. Does more damage. So. And I think he's at a breaking point. I don't think he wants to stay in. Okay, no. He's willing to. Uh, fair enough. Oh, did I full power? Yeah, I must have. <laughs> so I'm just gonna recover. Get myself healthy. Between all my moves, I, I should out do. Uh, but, hmm. Uh, I'm just gonna end up getting thunder waved again if I just if I switch out. So I am just gonna ding him. Uh, honestly, uh, this is probably going to fall into uh, favor for me more than uh, my opponent. He's hoping that, uh, obviously I'll run out of cover before that's been tossed. Hmm. That is true, I will run out of the covers before Cyber Toss happens. So, uh, but... Uh... I think that's only attacking move. Uh, I think no risk really to just continue doing this. Actually, I'm thinking. What? Are, like, what am I thinking? Obviously, I can just toxic. <laughs> I just have to toss it. That's it. Hmm. 
Because he doesn't have heal bell, run away from milk tank, from milk drink, cosmic toss, health rocks. Because I'm, I'm fine with. The Victoria on here. I don't want to fight. Keep ran. Uh, probably obvious. I'm gonna retreat ran. Probably gonna go knock off for a U turn. I should survive this. Yep. And I get like 200 HP back, so. Not bad, I gotta say. Ooh, I could've gone with Toxic. Should've. That's like should've. Um, but I'm fine with that. I honestly am. Um, I suspect it will go Ice Beam. This. I see wind. Ooh. That's quite a bit. Ooh, if he has Ice Beam, that'll, that'll definitely Oko me. Um, I have a feeling he might not have Ice Beam. But recover Scald. Imagine he would have something like Toxic. And I'm still faster, okay. I didn't think I'd be still faster. Okay, I doubt I'm faster now. <laughs> so, um. Um. I don't think you'll want to stay in. On, like. I'm at full, I'm at pretty good health. And I'm still faster, what? <laughs> I, I don't understand. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Good move, I'm gonna admit, that's a good move. Very good move there. Uh, okay. Um. Well, I mean, a part of me wants to just click Draco, but uh, I reckon Hurricane will do enough damage.
Obviously, that move was just to ensure that I get the kill. Uh, Okay, continue. This is always uh, an issue. I don't tell, I, I, I never know what to prepare for Mew, so... Um. um... What could I use? Dragon Dance. Enough. Uh then what is he gonna do? Oh, okay. I misplayed that. Got me there. I honestly, uh, this is obviously bad. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do. Did he do that earthquake? I imagine he use it. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I don't think any of my Pokemons are f can beat him now. <laughs> I think I've just lost. Um, Yeah, I, I believe I have just lost it. Uh, yeah. Uh, well played. <laughs> I imagine he has something. I, I, I think you'll have perfect coverage for my team. There's no reason. And actually, he doesn't even need perfect coverage against top player. Like, top player's defense is so low, it will just, uh... He, sh he should just have beat it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I really don't. I, I really don't mind. <laughs> it's like... Okay. A seed berry, right? No, I think that's one. Cool. I'm not sure. Um, I really, I'll let him sweep, I, I really, uh, I'm, okay. Because, um, I don't think, I, I, I assume the last move is actually Dazzling Gleam, to be honest. So, I just want to confirm that. His, his last move is that something. Oh, Zen Headbutt. No, oh, that works. Should do, shoot out. You should kill my whole team. Like, literally, I don't have any Pokemon that can uh, defensively check this. Uh, Check uh, Mew. Honestly, I never, I, 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 I never, uh, um, have anything from Mew. I, I, I never prepare for Mew because I don't. It's just too hard to. Uh, I just you know throw the game. Congrats, congrats to my opponent, and yeah, well deserved. Um. I am... So I get knocked out uh, basically the same place as I did last time in Season 1, so... Uh... So I think my season was a little bit tough. I, like, I, I didn't do as well this season, so... Um... 
But yeah, that's stuck the game. Nothing I can do about it. Um, honestly, uh, I'm low key, um, I'm low key kind of glad. Um, but that's a that's a different thing. <laughs> oh man, what a way to die! <laughs> oh man, uh, you know what? You know. <laughs> If I didn't have the leftovers, that would have been the funniest way to go out. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, uh, that's that's the game, man. <laughs> uh, uh, man. Okay, so yeah, I, I mean that's the game. I lost. Um, Really, I, it was a dominant loss. I think I, I, honestly, I wasn't really prepared. I only finished building this 15, 20 minutes before the match ban. But uh, regardless, I mean, I, I think I had the team in my head for a bit, so it doesn't matter. Um, and so that's the end of the YCL. Um, I run into YCL. I finished the same playoffs. You know, I finished, made it to playoffs, got ra knocked out round one uh, again, you know, just like season one. Um, though I think my season one loss in the playoffs was much more embarrassing. Um, yeah. So uh, this, oh, to be fair, I think this time. Well, this this could be more embarrassing, I guess. I was actually I actually bought the right team and just was outplayed. So, um, well, let's 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 chalk it to season two being more embarrassing. Um, that said, uh, um, let's uh, uh I'll, I won't do an outro because I guess I'll be making a season review. Uh, so let's just get to the season review. Hey and. This is the season review for the second season of what, the YouTube Challenges League. Unfortunately, I mean, we we got knocked out. Same in round one of the playoffs, just like season one. Um, I do want to say congratulations to our opponent again. Uh, well deserved win. Um, look, I look. Hopefully, he does well in the the. Uh, with the rest of the, the season, uh, he's, yeah, so, uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, like, I, I, hopefully he wins, uh, the, the, um, the division finals, and then hopefully, uh, well, hopefully makes it to the division finals and wins it, and then hopefully the full thing, uh, I wish all the luck to him, and all the other finalists, uh, in the, in the playoffs, um, but unfortunately, again, like I said, we're, we're knocked out, um, and we'll just, you know, quickly just look back at what, how my, uh, my season went. So, firstly, let's just check out my team as a, a full roster, and as you can see, uh, I think overall, uh, I, I was still happy with the team. Uh, even though I didn't really use uh, Mudbray and Warthorn and Raichu a lot, um, and I did have the I did switch it up um, uh, a little bit late. Oh, even Kangaskhan I didn't use that one, uh, but and, and and I did switch it up uh, a bit uh, early in the um, from. So it's not this is not the same thing that I drafted. Uh, I did have to drop Marini, I did drop S Scrafty, to pick back up uh, S S Sneasel, and to pick up a Hitmontop. But overall, I, I am happy with what I drafted. Uh, what I'm not happy with is just how I used it. Uh, I think I didn't, I, I couldn't get the hang of, I just couldn't think how to best utilize my team. And... I don't know whether that's because the team itself, but oh no, I, I think on paper, I think this team should work. It's just I could not uh, grasp it. Um, 
I think mainly because I think this is more an offensive team, and um, obviously I think a more like very offensive teams. That's probably not my style. Um, so I I didn't get into the into into it pretty well. Um, I struggled to just build the team get along like uh, use it in battle, and I think that just reflects how how. It, my performance went throughout the season. Uh, in terms of like the the Pokemon, obviously, uh, this I have used Vaporeon before. Hitmontop is constantly that is like usually my first pick when it comes to fighting types. When I like when I think of like, so when I'm thinking of like what to rough, Hitmontop is usually the first Pokemon fighting type I think of uh, when I need a fighting type. Uh, Vaporeon, like I said, is a one I've used before and uh, I enjoyed using it. Raichu I used last season, and uh, it didn't get much usage that time, and it didn't get much usage this time. Um, Sneasel is also one that I've, I've drafted before, but I think this is the most I've ever used Sneasel. Okay. Um, in terms of like the other Pokemon, I didn't get to use Mudbray much, which, uh, I mean, I've used Mudsdale and it, it, it worked out for me. I just don't know why. I couldn't fit Mud Mudbray into the team. Uh, I wish I could have, but um, but I didn't. Uh, same with Wartortle. I think Wartortle had potential. I just did not like uh, come up with a way to to utilize it, uh, especially when Hitmontop came into the team. The niche that Wartortle had is it's the Rapid Spinner, but. With him on top there, it's hard to. Uh, I would prefer to use him on top over water. Uh, Kangas Khan, I mean, I could. Uh, I, I don't know why I didn't use it. Uh, it's just. It always seems. It, it, it's middling, like, stats just didn't. It was hard for me to put it into a team. Uh, into my team. Or I just couldn't think of a way to, to utilize it well. Um. So if I look at from the it's outside of Vaporeon, the four Pokemons I use the most. Uh, I mean, I think Tapu Lele, Heatran were in every single game, uh, along with Vaporeon. Celebi was in nearly every single game. Noivern was in a lot, but not uh, a little bit less than than Celebi. And in terms of, I think those four working together, I think worked really well. Uh, if you think about it, uh, it those those four complete fire dragons, uh, so fire water, uh, grass core, and a fairy dragon steel core. So, um, again, uh, I think they work together. I just I couldn't utilize it well. Uh, moving forward, maybe I would probably not use Celebi and probably use. If look, if, if I were to get Tapu Lele again, I would definitely get Heatran again. I probably would get Noivern again. Um, but maybe I'd replace Celebi. Uh, I think I chose Celebi because it gives me a Stealth Rocker, uh, and it gave me the the expanding force that I could use that that could utilize Psychic Terrain. But I found myself that I needed to preserve Tapu Lele, so Psychic Terrain wasn't even as up as much as I was hoping, and so there's no point in having the expanding force. Uh, so I, I didn't even use expanding force except I think my match against in, in week two the mini Isles. Um, yeah, uh, uh ideally, I think Villaboom or or the Wacky would have been a great uh pair up and uh. If I do get an opportunity to get top of well and heat ran again, I'd definitely go with uh, either of those two. Um, I think ta at the end of the regular season, top of well was the highest, uh, had the highest kill uh, for the season. So uh, that's that's something. Uh, I don't know. I think it will get superseded uh, eventually as the playoffs go on. I think it, it, it was the, it's the leader by but. Not but that much, so um, I think s something will probably supersede Tapu Lele at the end of uh, the season. 
Uh, but at least I could say that. Um, with that said, I probably think Tabarilla is the MVP of the team. Uh, it did most of the damage, and basically I did build my team around Tapuwele, I suppose. Uh, and maybe that's probably I probably should have kind of dislodged my thinking and go away from just focusing on Tapuwele. But that's 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 how it. No, I mean that's what I did. Uh, and then later I'll, I'll just you know uh, that's something to reflect on. Um, in terms of how I did in the season, um, as you can see, I four wins, four losses, very mixed result. This is probably I think my worst kind of season performance. Uh, I think outside of uh, so before this, I think my worst season uh, results for an eight for for eight weeks would have been five five three. So this would be so four four is worse than that. Uh even though I I won the first week, I think overall the first three weeks was not my best. Uh and the results show uh I barely scraped through the first week and that was through like A some misfortune in terms of disconnect, but B also I get a little lucky with some of the roles. Uh critical key critical hit, I think really just that cemented the game for me in that week one. Uh, you know, three, uh, week two and three, I just did not play well at all. But, um, no, I, I think week two wasn't too bad, but uh, I, I was a little bit too passive, uh, and I, I didn't. I tried to wait for an opportunity to pull trigger, but then uh, obviously I just couldn't find it, and uh, my opponent did. Uh, Three was just probably the low, just my worst performance uh, period. Uh, I just didn't play well at all. Um, week four and five, I did win, and, and they were convincing wins. Uh, but uh, I think that was from a. I think we had a. I, I technically had a week break uh, because of some. Uh, there was uh, some scheduling issues with national New Kings. Uh, the National League King side, and we were delayed one week, and so that gave me time to like regroup. Also, I was coming off probably this was leading into um, the finals of the NBL, and uh, I was doing really well in the NBL, so uh, I think confidence was kind of building up from there. Um, but yeah, after that, week six wasn't that great. I think I was always on the back foot from there. Uh, I tried to make do like bring some bring it back, but I I couldn't and yeah uh, and then week seven I think I I won but uh, I think it was a mix of luck in there. Uh, honestly, I was probably one hurricane miss away from just losing that match. Uh, but luckily for me, I none of my hurricanes missed. Um, and you know playoffs, uh, I just uh, yeah I made a mistake on. Uh, uh, for Mew, uh, thinking back, I I don't know why I protected on the, when Heat Rand came in. Uh, Earthquake, like, well, I, I had no idea what my plan was. I just wanted to, I, I protected in order to buy me time to think, but uh, yeah, that didn't help at all. Um, yeah, the protect just, uh, I, I should have attacked it, I, I should have attacked it. Magma Storm, uh, of course, Magma Storm could miss, so that that's a thing. But uh, I think that would have at least allowed me to get it down to. I think I would still lose Heat Ramp, but maybe get it down to a point where I can confidently say, "Oh, Sneasel can come in," and I sort of um, I shot it. Uh, but that said, I mean, that's the game that was played. Uh, I didn't do that, and yeah, I lost. So. Uh, also, lastly, uh, I want to say thanks to all the uh, to the YCL as as a whole, uh, the admin team, uh, which is uh, like like the commissioner, which is uh, which is Sen, uh, also the the admin team, uh, which is Luke Harry, uh, Mountain, 
uh, Squid Defeat, um, plus just Lucas. Uh, they, they obviously they ran a pretty good season this uh, this time. A little bit of I think, yeah, it just ran a good season. Um, yeah, so uh, there was a little bit of a, I think a hiccup at the drafting stage, but. Overall, uh, it, it was fun. Uh, it's uh, uh, season to play. Um, with that said, uh, I am. Uh, I'm not going to uh, be participating in season three uh, or the YCL for at least the foreseeable future. At the moment, um, I uh, not that I, I disliked my my. Uh, my time in the YCL, it is just that overall, uh, with draft leagues, I am feeling a little bit burnt out. Uh, I know I have the PAC at the moment, and with that said, uh, I am going to play through the PAC, uh, but uh, after that, I am going to stop playing in draft leagues for... Uh, I am planning at least six months. Uh, if not... Uh, Probably until next generation. That's probably what's going to be. Uh, so if you want to know, uh, I think based on when PAC is going to uh, end, six months is about December this year. So I, I probably December and uh, December this year. Uh, I'll think about how I feel about joining the uh, a draft league again, um, and if I do feel like it. The YCL is probably one that I'll look to, um, but yeah, I, I don't see myself uh, playing any more draft leagues for, for some time. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I wish I wish the the YCL uh, team and the, the league as a whole good luck. Uh, this is a, a great league, uh, and they're building up uh, better and better. So. Uh, I, I do, I'm probably still going to try to keep up with a, how the results are going at the league itself, but I'm not going to participate anymore, uh, at least until uh, December this year, um, whichever season that would be, probably five or six, but we'll see how it goes. Um, with that said, uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. Uh, if you did, I would really appreciate a like. Uh, I don't know what my the future of this channel is going to be like, uh, at least for the next six months. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, so I'll, I'm not going to ask <laughs> to subscribe. Uh, again, I do want to say uh, I urge you if, uh, to check out not only my opponent's uh, side of the battle and his channel, uh, which is going to be in the description below, but you know, check out uh, the the rest of the YCL league. Uh, they have a Twitter account. They'll probably uh, update with all the matches as they come. So uh, probably check that out as well. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys have a great day, um, and uh, see ya.